Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we're making a four tiered wedding cake. So this is our first tier. A while ago, and when I say a while ago, I'm talking 10, 15 years ago, I came up with this idea. It's four welded metal rods onto a circular metal hoop to create a table like stand on the inside of your cake. Why do I do this? I'm scared that they're gonna fall over, melt, get bumped, fall over during transit. Uh, there's too many things to worry about. So the first step in getting uh, these cakes stacked with this method is to understand that metal cannot go on the inside of a cake. So just like when we add sugar flowers, we use florist tape. Um, but as a precaution for years now, I bought this roll years ago. I've been using these adhesive sticky pieces of paper, which do very well under um, wet conditions like on the inside of a cake. And we also wrap this further in wax paper just to make sure that no metal will be touching the cake. Um, and that's that. You see how it's covered? Now I'll do that to the other four and then we will add wax paper individually around each leg. Um, in order to measure the height, you insert a dowel rod into your wedding cake. And then you just mark it. Um, there. I marked it right here. Okay. Let me just switch my time off. Okay, so this is the height of the table, of the cake, and this is the height that the little cake table will have to be cut to. That's how I measure it. Okay, I'm gonna do that, but first, I have to put this in the fridge so that it's protected from any flying metal objects. Okay, so this is the wax paper. I usually make a little loop at the top. Wax paper needs to be thoroughly stretched in order for it to adhere to whatever you're trying to cover. And in this case, we're trying to cover the paper covered legs of our little stand. I'm calling it a stand. It's a little table for the inside of a cake. I'll show you how it works in a moment. Okay, so it's ready. It's wrapped. We've got our measurement right here. Um, this is the funny part. People always laugh at me. I'm going to need your help, Evelyn. Just quickly come and will you hold it in place for me. Thank you. Oh, right towards the phone. Okay, let's do the next one. <laughs> Ow! Damn it. People laugh at me when I do this. My mom, my dad, everyone. Ooh. Ow! Did I, did I show you that I'm using this to like measure it? I did. <laughs> ah, okay. So now we have a table. It's actually pretty straight. What I usually do, I hope it doesn't disrupt the uh, filming. I'll, I'll need a tiny bit of tape again because it's a bit exposed here. I usually just flatten the cuts down and I check. Seems pretty level. Do you want to bring me that leveler? It looks like a ruler. Like a yellow long ruler. There, yeah. And what I usually do, I use this thing. It's pretty straight because the bubble's in the middle. Okay. I love it when it works out like that. You know how many of these things I've cut incorrectly and I've sat and struggled? 
Okay. So this is going in our biggest level. So now it's time to stand. So that's what I'm doing. And there is a breathing hole. Every single cake with a little skewer should always have a breathing hole. Because uh, now you put something in, you apply pressure to it. Thanks, Evelyn. Now I'm adding our buttercream just directly onto the stand in the middle and around the sides it's the second level that goes on here when they're cold you can handle them easier oh goodness and as you can see it's solid it's literally solid right now. Um, if your cake isn't cold, you won't be able to easily stack it like this. Where's the back of the cake? This is the back of the cake. Okay. How does it look there by you, Evelyn? Does it look okay like this? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take smaller because now it does create a lip in between the cakes because there's like a a millimeter no there's like four millimeter thickness in between of oh, this buttercream is actually it is actually smoother you know that I can't lie okay I used to drive all the way to Joburg to someone, but now a very good friend of mine helps me make them. Hey, if you want to order, let's call them cake tables or cake, insert, cake insert stands or whatever. You can order, we'll make them for you. Okay, as you can see, we've inserted a little bit of buttercream. I am going to remove the excess now, and I think I'll use this cake board. No, let's see. These cake scrapers work the best, especially the, the firmer ones. They work the best to remove buttercream. Okay, now this has to go into the fridge to set for a little while because it, uh, when you put a cake on top of a cake, air can build up on the inside and create bubbles. I'm just creating a breathing hole up here. Red velvet. And then I am going to use the same skewer as we did for the bottom. This level is carrot cake and red velvet. I'm using two skewers, I'm sorry, two stands in this one. For this size, you don't really need to use a stand, but for I am because I'm driving far and I want the cake to be strong. Okay, so I'll put this in the fridge. I will start the other one and show you the progress real soon. Okay, we cut this one shorter. So now we're going Okay, so now we're going to add the next table or stand or whatever we want to call them. Okay, and as usual, you need a breathing hole right there. So now we're adding our buttercream. 
cement black butter cream This is the front, okay? Does it look okay? We just have to move it until we're happy with it. Yeah. Okay, and now how about now? Yeah. Okay, so I think I know what the problem is. Something's wrong with this fridge, it's too cold. Because now, second we take them out, they start sweating and it's oh, too hot today. Yeah, it's too hot. How can you interact that? A little bit of cornstarch yeah. on your hands. I think that's fine, yeah, hey? it's fine. Okay. The last cake will just have dowels um, inserted in the top because it's the smallest one. Let me do that now. Okay, so now I'm going to do... Can you see what I'm doing with this place? Now I'm just cutting these dowel rods. I put a lot in. Sorry, it's not going to fall on my watch. I put a lot. It is just a six inch, the top one, but still. And you know what's happened to me once where I went to a venue and I just realized, no, this thing is melting. And I had extra sticks. Quickly lifted it up, added some sticks, Everything was fine. Scary, but everything was fine. I hate it when they splinter or when they're badly made. I need more. Count how many. I don't know. I don't feel like counting them. Oh, and off camera there was a bubble right here that formed because of the pressure. So I just literally took and I made a hole right there, which is an air hole, and it actually went and then it shrunk back down. But for those of you who are doing this for the first time, you can, you don't have to use um, a metal thing like I'm doing. You can do PVC pipes, dowel rods. You can actually cut, you could find yourself three or four PVC pipes that are like as thick as this and you could cut them and insert them into the cake. Um, my cake seems to be sweating because it's very humid. It's summer here where we are and it's been raining and boiling hot at the same time. So I did give it a once over with some corn uh, starch or corn powder or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I'll do it again. Uh, just to let it absorb any moisture that might build up on the surface. Okay, this should be enough. Dowel rods for the inside of the cake. It's too tall right now. kilograms this is sixty something kilograms right now can you even see what I'm doing? Gosh, 
Let's see if they... Did you get those people who are like, oh, there's a little bump there, ew, you know? As you work on it, it starts to get better. <laughs> That's why you need a, oh, <laughs> it looks like my head is the topper of the cake. Yes, cake. So if someone counted how many sticks I put in, you can please let us know. See how you can actually pick the cake up and maneuver it to the place where you need it to be. starts the tiring process of looking at it from every freaking conceivable angle. This is just a um, handy hose filled with um, corn powder or cornstarch to combat the moisture compensation. It's pulling me right now. Okay, let me take this claw. I'll be right back. Okay, so when people say wedding cake artists start months in advance, this is what they're talking about. They're talking about all these decorations. Okay guys, so now I'd like to paint this cake an off-white uh, satin champagne kind of color. So I've just used satin white and ivory. And I've made like a paint for myself. Oh, do we have something to test it out on? So now I'm starting at the back of the cake because if there's a disaster, this is where you want it to happen. I think it's looking okay. What do you think, Isabel? 
And yeah, I'm painting it. Can you get me my chair? I'm going to be here for a while. Okay. It's very ugly right now because it's not done yet. So this is the color, as you can imagine, it will gradually go. Okay. You know, yesterday when the, the phone was taking a photo, <laughs> and then I was like going, no, and then I was going, okay. <laughs> you were looking at me like, <laughs> oh. so what the fuck is this guy doing now? <laughs> it's so funny, Evelyn. I want to keep it. <laughs> Okay, the first thing is, there's roses at the top of the cake. Okay. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I'm going to do more than eight. So, if this is the front of the cake, can you look for white pearls for me? As well. And then you must just tell me like what it is, where do you think? Oh, thanks. I'll use them. Okay, this is now where we need the chocolate. Okay. If you have it, bring it. And I think I'll do it, I'll put it on with a brush. No, it's there, I think it's done. Okay. So, but this, is, this is a nice front, eh, from where you're standing. And then this one should go, you tell me. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Will you um, beat that buttercream a bit more? It's like, it's oh. not beat enough. And we still have to airbrush.
Or it is beat enough and it's like curdling, I don't know. Or I beat it too much, who knows. Who actually knows at this stage? Is it better? I didn't check what time the power is going off. Can I have another bag? Okay. Ooh, let's do a small rose in the center first, like the smallest one that we have, like this one. Yeah. Okay. That's all we needed was to work with it a little bit more. Yeah. I think I'll do another smaller rose up here. Because they don't all fit. Yeah. And then one more small one. But now it's going to be a very small one. This very small one. the rose is the same color because I like the color. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember we've got... Where? This. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. And we've got these leaves. Yes. Um, what was I doing now? I can't remember. I want this very nice rose over here. I'm very happy with our roses, aren't yes. you? Yes. I'm like shockingly happy. Looks good in the viewfinder. Okay, we'll do a reveal when we're done because I'm too nervous to keep filming.